Okay, so I wanted to answer one of the questions that I receive most often about why I wrote the book the way I did. And I want to focus on the signature sister stories, the sisterhood of seven. You will notice when you read the book that each sister is actually is patterned after the same way. I share with you the generic story, the story that I want you to see yourself in at times, and then I work you through the differences of the red zone, the yellow zone, and the green zone. Now, the reason I did this is because if this was as easy as it appeared at first glance, we would have already made these changes. But I found out that it wasn't, and part of what I was able to do was almost serve as a mirror to women who were in the red zone to say, do you realize that this is really what you're saying? So that's what you'll see, is you're going to see the actual phrases that I captured and see if it's some of the phrases that are coming out of your mouth, and that will give you an indicator of going, oh my, am I really dancing with that sister? I then talk about the energy of what happens in the red zone as well. The next step is a segment that I call looking farther down the road. And as a system thinking expert, I've been trained in teaching system thinking now for over 25 years, and that's the ability to connect the dots for a larger story, to be able to scale up the mountaintop and see the big picture, and then come right back down to the base and see the details and navigate between the two and realize the relationship between them all. This is an important segment. I don't want you to speed over that because what it does is I've actually connected the dots that when we look farther down the road, if we are living in this red zone, how does it impact our daughters? How is it impacting our sons? How is it impacting everyone else who is around us? So slow down and see if maybe there's a story there for you. I then of course spend time in the green zone because that's where we wanna go. That's where the freedom lies. That's where the power begins to bubble up. I share with you the phrases that begin to show up in the green zone. I share with you the energy behind it. And in this new edition, I also shared with you a, some possible ways to interpret the logos. Each logo was intensely designed um, by a wonderful woman out of South America, and it is based on sacred geometry. And it's based on some pretty powerful messages that just see what the logo has to say to you, because what I've discovered is it means something different to everyone. So enjoy the way each chapter is set out for the sisterhood, and be sure to email me, kim at kimberlyfaith.com, if you have questions or even deeper insights, because this, my sweet sisters, is an emerging story, and I invite you to co-create it with me. Until next time.